the annual DEMA Trade Show, sponsored by the Dive Equipment and Marketing Association, is the world's preeminent showcase for dive professionals. Featuring hundreds of exhibits and attracting thousands of dive store owners, managers, and instructors, the DEMA Show is not open to the general public. Nevertheless, it is where many manufacturers provide their dealers with a first peek at the latest in equipment technology. The 2009 DEMA Show took place in November at Orlando's Orange County Convention Center. In this video, we are going to give you an exclusive look at six of the products that gathered the most attention at this year's show. Air travel isn't as fun as it used to be. And one thing making it less fun is the airline's new restrictions on checked baggage. Divers, in particular, have been hard hit by limits and fees for checking dive gear. One manufacturer has struck back. This year, Aqualum introduced the Zuma, a full-featured BC made specifically for traveling divers. It was clearly one of the hottest items of the show. The Zuma weighs in at just four pounds and folds to an incredibly small size. Despite this, the Zuma has all of the features you'd expect, including weight integration, remote dumps, and an expanding pocket. The air integrated Sequest Air Source 3 inflator is available as an option. One store we know has put together a complete travel package that includes the Zuma, a lightweight rag, dive computer, three millimeter wetsuit, mask, snorkel, fins, and gear bag, and weighs in at just 17 pounds. And yes, it qualifies as carry-on luggage. The Zuma comes in a variety of sizes and is available now at your local Aqualung dealer. You don't create a powerful fin by making it stiff and hard to kick. You create a powerful fin by making it efficient, delivering the greatest possible thrust with the least possible effort. In the last decade, we've seen split fins, hinged fins with elastic bands, but nothing quite like this. The APS Manta Ray dive fins take their inspiration from the gills of a manta, delivering lightweight, compact size, and amazing performance. A scuba diving magazine tester's choice these fins are available in three different colors and a variety of sizes. Each year, it seems the options for underwater imaging become more powerful, more compact, and more affordable than ever. This past year saw a quantum leap in this direction and a further blurring of the line between still and video cameras. Typical of these developments is a new camera and housing package from Eichlight. At its heart is a JVC Pixio compact digital video camera. Barely larger than a deck of cards, the Pixio nevertheless combines both a 1080p high definition video camera with an eight megapixel still camera and accepts both SD or SDHC memory cards. A large two inch color monitor makes composing images easy image stabilization, and a 4x digital zoom further extend the camera's capabilities. The compact housing is tiny enough to fit in many BC or dry suit pockets. A UR Pro color correcting filter is standard. Available options include an LED video light and a 20 millimeter wide angle lens. The best part though isn't optional. You can get the base package including both camera and housing for under $500, well within any diver's budget. Yet another example of the revolution taking place in underwater imaging is the camera mask from Liquid Image. Available in three different models, the top of the line camera mask combines a five megapixel still camera with a 720p high definition video camera. Available accessories include color correcting filters and one and four watt video light systems. If you have ever taken a class in underwater videography, you know that the constant panning and tilting 
as well as the rapid head movements associated with a mask-mounted camera, might not result in the most watchable video. But before you dismiss this as just another gimmick, consider the many practical applications for the hands-free operation this mask provides, such as, like commercial divers, who may need to document the condition of hulls, props, and shafts. Marine biologists, who may need to document plant and animal life while having hands free to record data on slates or notebooks. Dive instructors, who may want to record student performance without taking their eyes off students or losing control of the situation. Cave and wreck divers, who may be seeking a streamlined solution to documenting what they are exploring, especially when their hands are occupied by reels, tools, or diver propulsion vehicles. Until recently, this technology wasn't even imaginable. Now it is both practical and affordable. If you've ever watched late night television, you've seen famous pitchmen try to wow you with the wonders of microfiber towels. These seemingly miraculous products manage to absorb up to several times their own weight in water. This technology is no stranger to many divers who for years have relied on chamois towels to dry off fast after a dive. What divers often don't know, however, is that Chamois makes a complete line of apparel for diving and other water sports. Chamois divewear is lightweight, comfortable, and warm. Its breathable, moisture-wicking technology helps keep you dry while providing insulation and UV protection. And the fabric is 100% recyclable. To learn more about the complete line of Chamois Divewear, visit your local Chamois dealer. Diver Propulsion Vehicles, or DPVs, such as these models from Silent Submersion, have long been a staple of cave and technical diving. Despite this, DPVs have been slow to gain popularity among recreational divers. Nevertheless, a new generation of compact, affordable DPVs are starting to change this. This year saw a quantum leap in compact DPV technology. At DEMA, Innovative Scuba Concepts introduced the Bladefish, a revolutionary new DPV that looks exactly like a more conventional model, except for one thing. The body is missing. The Bladefish pulls off this technological tour de force by making use of ultra-tiny, ultra-efficient lithium-ion batteries. The same technology that has made cell phones and mobile devices so small. These batteries are cleverly enclosed inside the prop shroud, eliminating the need for a conventional scooter body. And because these batteries are so lightweight, both Bladefish models weigh in at around 10 pounds. The Bladefish recharges fast and can be ready to go in as little as an hour, depending on model. Bladefish models start at under $700 and are available through any Innovative Scuba Concepts dealer.